snow settled in the place of players and fans. Yeah, I wish that we were practicing today. As the NCAA Division III football tournament continued without the Tommies after a heartbreaking loss against Wisconsin Oshkosh. Is this season going to affect us? Yes. Is this last game going to going to affect us? Yes. I feel like the best teammate now had won that day, um, and that's what kind of gets to me. I think that kind of gets to all of us. It's hard to put into words because obviously we didn't get where we wanted to go, and if there was a team that I thought had the count level to do it, go all the way. This was definitely one of them. I wanted to win a national championship. Um, that was a big goal for mine, for me, uh, and for all the guys on the team this year. You know, you think about this destiny and what's going to happen, and sometimes it gets taken away from you really fast. And, uh, just depends on how you deal with that, and I think with the culture that we have here, we're going to learn from that, and the guys next year are definitely going to get better from it. But you can't let one game dictate the whole season. I think that we exceeded a lot of expectations and that a lot of guys stepped up into roles that uh, they didn't have at the beginning of the year and they had to grow and uh, be really confident in what they can do. No, I was really proud of coaches and teammates for what we accomplished this year. With the Tommy's mantra for legacy, let each generation's accomplishments continue yours in mind, this year's team sees its place in the bigger picture of Tommy football. Based on legacy, you know, we're always playing for those that came before us, and I think, you know, to leave that legacy is something that's really important, not only for the future of our program, but also for uh, the past, for the alumni to see that we are building upon that legacy and not leaving it in vain. The program has an ever-evolving legacy, a legacy in which this year's 26 seniors have influenced. I thought that they not only did a great job honoring the legacy that was left behind them, but also um, putting, putting their own uh, legacy into what they wanted to leave behind. It's, it's a debt of gratitude I'll never be able to repay other than continuing their legacy. Defensive and Offensive Players of the Year, All-Americans and the Mayak MVP will graduate from the program. But their leadership and impact goes well beyond these honors. It was the consistent commitment to the greater good of the program that had the greatest influence. The play that those seniors, the plays that they made on the field and, and how they played with so much passion um, really lives on through the players that come after them. Now those enormous roles must be filled by someone else. The beautiful part of the program is that no matter who leads, there's, there's always those guys that step up. And, uh, and play just like, you know, the guys that came before them. The Tommies have many starters returning, including an All-American who did not see much playing time this year. Um, yeah, Jordan will have an opportunity to come back for, to play his fourth year of, el of eligibility. With warm hearts of the practice field awaiting next season, 32 seniors seek to fill the shoes of the players who came before them. I'm telling you, I'm very excited to see how that all manifests and the roles, the roles that are not just filled but hopefully exceeded and the way that this senior class puts their own spin on the leadership to add, add to the culture. Let's go. Let's go. In St. Paul, I'm Carolyn Meyer for TommyMedia.com. Get up on your other play, second down.